Hello, and welcome back to Kate and Walking Talk at You, the podcast that I never remember how we introduce. And every time you have to introduce it, Joaquin, you always ask me, oh, how do I introduce the podcast? And I'm like, I don't know. I, I quite frankly never remember. I mean, we we introduced something for a lot of years. So all of a sudden, now we're just doing this random freelance introduction. <laughs> I like the use of freelance there. I mean, yeah, because we don't really have like a set in stone. Yeah, there's no intro intro. Yeah. Do we find like a song and then... Yeah. People who listen to our podcast, if you are a musician... Write us a song and maybe we will use it. Send it to our email, kadenwalkin at gmail.com. Have your song featured on the show. My hair looks End so the weird podcast. in this camera. I don't. Is it because it's far away and we have terrible cameras? Most of our audience listens. I don't, I don't care about that. They don't need with this right now. I'm just for my own self like confidence. It's really fine. blocking Whatever. me and my camera. Man, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. You struggled there. I felt your muscles there. Went to yeah, because look play. at the angle I'm at right now. No, I just am stronger. No. I, I beat you in arm wrestles, though. Well, I'm not good at arm wrestling. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that one time I made a, <laughs> I made a grown woman cry by <laughs> kicking her, her right in the throat. You kicked her in the throat, dog. Of course. I think anybody would cry. Mike Tyson would cry got kicked in the throat. No, Mike Tyson would go into like a berserker rage if he got kicked Mike in the Tyson, throat. Mike Tyson, now I don't know. Like 20 years ago? My, yeah. But right now, he's kind of like... He's still crazy. I mean, there's still a beast inside of him. I mean, he's been solving mysteries. So he's got like a lot of different skills now. But he still punches people in those mysteries. Yeah, he didn't fight a couple months, like a year ago. What was the mystery, though, that like revolved around the fight? Him wanting to fight. But did someone call him there and then he'd come in the mystery van with uh, Young He and the ghost and Pigeon? They were like, hey, what's the problem? No. He kind of just walked out. Was he wearing blue? Black. I don't know what's happening then. Was his brother there? Maybe. Neil? If that's his brother's name, he might have been there. Yeah, you know him? You you know him. DeGrasse Tyson? That's yeah, his brother. Yeah, his brother. Neil DeGrasse Tyson. The brother of Michael Tyson. Imagine if he went by Michael Tyson all the time. That would just be, wouldn't sound as cool. It doesn't sound as cool. Because like Iron Mike, that's like one of the hardest nicknames ever. Iron Michael sounds like a chef. Iron Michael sounds like a serial killer <laughs> who just beats people with a tire iron. I was thinking like an like an ironing iron, like you're you're mm. steaming your clothes, and then you come home and you're like, "Oh, honey, what are you doing?" And then I, I, Iron Michael's there. He's like, oh, "I am steaming your death." I hate all this. Eight Oscar right nominations. <laughs> I hate all that we're doing. I hate this so much. I think it's good. I think that's what people come here for. Iron Michael. There's some pun to be made within that name. It just it's it's like. It sounds... Oh, I don't know if... By the way... Um, you broke another mic stand. I wouldn't say I broke it. Mm-hmm. It kind of broke on itself. But I literally... All I did was push it away from me when we were done, and it just went... It snapped and fell. Yeah. Y- There's people who aren't watching. But that's why I made the... That's why I hit that, because it sounded like it fell. Yeah, hit but the, you could do anything. They don't They don't have a context. But it sounds like a something... If I've learned one thing... It's that people are dumb and don't understand how to do basic things and how like you could always win at tic tac toe if you do it. If I have never lost a game of tic tac toe. What is happening with this episode? <laughs> this is like one of the weirdest starts we've had. I don't know. We're coming out swinging. I was editing for five I hours. I wouldn't say we're today. swinging. We're coming out limp dick right now, <laughs> and we're in need of Viagra. What That's do you mean? The whole fucking me fixing my hair from the start. Then that we talked matter. about arm wrestling, and then we talked about Iron, Iron Michael Mike. was good. I don't know. <laughs> I liked Iron <laughs> I don't Michael. Know. Iron Michael and me had brunch the other day to talk about setting up that bit for the podcast. He was like, listen, I need you to know my shtick. He gave me the whole rundown about how he does the ironing thing. <laughs> he waits for people to come home, and then when they're there, he's like, I'm going to iron you. And then he's they do. And then the iron falls on his face like in Home Alone. And then Kevin McAllister goes, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> What's your thought Kendrick? on abortion laws? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get away from this Iron Mike conversation. I'm not actually asking for your thoughts on that. I was just trying to. I mean, unless, uh, you, want, unless you want to say your thoughts, you can more than welcome to. This is free country. My thoughts is that a woman's body is her place to choose, and it should, it's stupid that they're making it illegal. And if you can donate to help make it so that that law does not get passed, which is truly a hellish law 
do. I donated a hundred dollars at one point. Like the, I donated five. The, bro. the day I heard about it, I donated a hundred dollars. I donated five dollars. Well, at least you donated. Yeah, I, I just I can't be throwing out that much money unless it's OnlyFans. Then I'll be willing to throw that much money. Who's your favorite? <laughs> Horatio. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's probably um, Ashley Tisdale. Is that the girl from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? May I ask you a different question? What? Who is Horatio Sanchez? No idea. That name is in my mind, and I don't know if that's a real person or not. I don't know. Does that sound like a real person to you? Horatio, Horatio. Sanchez. I'm any, li- any name can sound like a real person. I mean, unless it's like Burf Stingleton. Like, do you think this name is real? Dick Buckus? I've heard of Dick Buckus. Yeah, like, that's a real person. Sanchez. Like that's something like a fifth grader would come up with. Oh, he's a actor. I think this is the first episode you're not wearing shoes. It is, but I'm still wearing socks because I genuinely feel uncomfortable recording this show without shoes on. Why? Or I I don't like barefoot. Why? No one sees that. I know though. They're gonna look into my eyes of the the be recording. Like, oh, he's fucking, he's or they're gonna hear it. Right yeah, they're gonna be uncomfortable. I'm gonna I'm gonna. I can hear those slimy hot dogs fucking just hit. Oh, him. hot dogs! I don't like how people refer to their like toes as their dogs. Yeah, yeah when they're, they're like, like oh, oh, my dogs are barking. Yeah, I gotta let the dogs breathe right now. I'm like, don't. I'll fucking kill you. I don't like it. I'll kill you. I say I gotta let my kittens purr. <laughs> That's worse. That's worse on so many levels. Like on so many different. <laughs> like that's awful. What if I said I gotta let the bears growl? That's not as bad. I it's gotta, definitely third though. I gotta let that dolphins go. Ee! <laughs> then I just think that something is mentally wrong with you more than already. Like you would believe you would like belong. Have you the- ever seen that dolphin movie with Morgan Freeman where they catch that dolphin and they put it in a pool? Shark, not Shark Tale. Dolphin oh. fin. Um, fucking, it's not, it's not called that. It's called, um... Dolphin Tail. Is it? I think it's Dolphin Tail. I think it? it's Dolphin Tail or Dolphin Tails. Where they put the fake, because it doesn't have a tail on it. Yeah. That's a good movie. I've never seen it. It's like genu- genu- genuinely a good movie. There we go. I just remember seeing the trailer for it a lot when I was, when it came out. I think I was like nine or ten. My sister loved it when it came out. Really? Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty solid movie. Because based off a true story, I think it is just like a great, not, because isn't based like kind of a loose... You can say that anything is bait. You could be like, you could hear. Like, That's what I mean. It's not any like one. It's a, it's a really loose term because it could be like this is following the true story, but based on a true story just kind of means whatever. Yeah, like The Conjuring is based off a true story just because it was like an actual place. Yeah, I that. think you're confusing it with the Amityville Horror. No, Conjuring. Is, uh, Conjuring is too based off a true story. Oh. Yeah. That's that movie fucked me up. I remember you texting me while you were watching it. That movie fucked me up, dude. And then I watched it the next day and I was like this. <laughs> I liked it, but it didn't scare me that much. I it scared the shit out of me. I can't deal with horror. It's just not my more like paranormal horror. You know, you like, could do with like a Jason. Jason, yeah, Jason wouldn't really scare me. I think that one I'd be Freddy. Eh. Maybe. I'd watch that one again. I don't mean I wouldn't want to watch it. Mm-hmm. But it's not one that, when I do, I probably wouldn't be as scared as I was in Conjuring. I don't know. Just something about paranormal shit just fucking freaks me out. Like, Aliens, low-key, it's not paranormal, but just the unknown. Mm-hmm. That shit freaks me out. Like, I don't want to watch, um... What's the movie that came out? Alien. No. It's, Aliens. Well, Alien, Aliens, that is a scary... The game. That shit's terrifying. The movie's very good. It's good, but, like, the game, when you're playing as, uh... Ripley's like, daughter? Yeah. That shit fucked me up there's also remember how we recorded that for a while mm-hmm. we should have played that with um sound there's a way you can play it to where you can set up like a connect like a microphone to the console oh really and when you make noise it reacts to that that's so, like, really cool if it walks cool. into a room you have to actually be quiet that's really fucking yeah. cool it's actually pretty common in games oh really dude I gotta fucking sorry totally unrelated this is reminding me of something I wanna get your reaction to this Live on camera? Live on live on the gram. On the podcast on the gram. On the gram. Are what you gonna record our your reaction and put it on your Instagram? God, this hurts my arm to hold, man. Put it between your legs. But then if I do that, it's like a weird like Where the fuck is this, man? I don't know. I don't know why you're gonna show something on a on No, because audio you know, just medium. just because I'm gonna go into it. I'm gonna okay. talk about it. Okay. I just wanna see your reaction to it because people can like look it up and they'll see it it's not mm-hmm. like something that's like hard to find unless they're driving you okay ready a lot of people listen to us when they're driving the unreal engine 5 is incredible it's a train station that i assume has been rendered 
You no, know, that's not even rendered. Oh, so this is real so far? No, so it's, it's a game. It's like an engine. But it's not like someone just went there and then like took photos or whatever. Okay, so it's rendered. They created that scene and rendered oh, it. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought rendered meant something else. Like rend- I thought rendered was like like you just take all the aspect, all like you take photos of it and then make it into something. You're insane. talking more about photo scanning. That's what I thought is, you were talking about. No, that's they just created that and that yeah. looks very good. It looks real as fuck. That's yeah. what the crazy part is. Well, environments are super are getting very easy. Not easy, but better. They're a better. lot. It's a lot easier to make a realistic environment. Like almost now. Every, but it's crazy though. Almost every game is going to look like that soon because Unreal Engine five and mm-hmm. almost everything runs on Unreal Engine five. Like Overwatch on, runs on three, which I feel like is fucking. Ridiculous. I like the way that that game looks though. I like the art style. Yeah, I just wish when the new one comes out, it's not the literal same game. You watched the donkey video where he was no, talking I about I'm it? Just, oh. I just I played Overwatch 1. one. And when I watched Overwatch 2, like, gameplay footage, I'm like, oh, yeah, I can just play this right now mm-hmm. for no, like, well, I paid for it. But I paid $30 for it, not $60 for yeah, new version a new version with nothing thing. new. Like, only thing that's new is just, like, some characters are reworked. I'm like, just do that for Overwatch, mm-hmm. you know? You just add more. Yeah, like, you're doing that already with, like, like wow, you just add a new expansion, but it's the same game. It's not like you make someone pay for a whole new thing. Mm-hmm. Well, technically you are, but it's new. It's new it's shit. It's adding shit to the thing you like, and it's not. It's often, I assume, yeah. not sixty dollars. And it, okay, if they made a new one with a new engine and all that kind of shit, like if it was on Unreal Engine four, then okay, yeah, I can, I can understand that, right? Because you're putting a new engine behind it. You're putting it would just look better, run better. I, mm-hmm. I get that, right? But the fact that they're just, it's the same thing. It's literally the same thing. It's like if you walked, like you, this is you, right? Decade. You go away, mm-hmm. put on a red shirt, come back. And you're wearing a blue and shirt? You, but you're wearing a different thing, glasses. That's what it is. That's how... I look different with different glasses, though. Exactly. The new the different thing is just, like, graphical. Mm-hmm. But you're still fucking, like... I'm still me. I'm yeah. still going to talk about Iron Michael. It just, just bothers me that they just think that's okay. AAA companies, man. They just... Big companies in general often don't know what consumers and want. isn't that just fucking, like, insane? Because they're a big company with, like, unlimited resources, basically. Mm -hmm. And they don't know what their consumers want. Like, dude, you have millions of people saying what they want. Just go to a subreddit. Go on Twitter, you know? Mm -hmm. They just don't give a fuck. And it fucking blows my mind, man. I would like to loop back around to the aliens thing that you were talking about. Because you said a recent film came out that scared you about aliens. Oh, yeah, the one where it's like, um... Uh, it's like that big circular thing came down. Oh, Arrival? Yeah. That's that just a freaky movie. That, that actually me scared me. Yeah, that's just like, I don't know, it's the unknown. That's what scares me, you know? Space intrigues me, the thought of it, but then when I think about it too hard, I have like an ex- existential crisis. Because it's so big and endless. Yeah, we're just like on this big rock. Just floating. Just floating around this big, ginormous, nuclear fucking cosmic power of the sun yeah but if you put sunglasses on that cosmic power he looks really cool <laughs> it just it's fucking weird man it's pretty weird and because yeah. we were hit by an asteroid years millions trillions billion years ago that we have this fucking thing that floats around our planet and help and it's so massive it helps control a lot of things on our planet mm-hmm. and i just find that i heard that the moon is actually how most 7-elevens that the to rotate their hot dogs that's their main, that's the main contributor of the moon. You hate what I'm doing, but I like it. <laughs> we went into this last episode. What did we do? Can you do this shit? Because it amuses you so much and everyone else is just like, I want to kill him right now. I think that we ha- we have it reversed. I think that that's, because the thing is, most people, I think, view it that way. Only because I'm doing it to them. And I will cite when we went to see Batman and you were trying to describe a film with Paul Dano and you, Isaac was like, I'm pretty sure you're talking about Taken. And then you were, you just kept trying to explain it and go into it. And then I went, oh, you mean Taken 2. I mean, it was funny, but I was trying to just like explain the movie. Did you ever figure out what movie yeah. that was? What movie is it? For, uh, fuck, I forgot it now, but I showed it to you guys. You went, I don't care. I went, I want to <laughs> fucking kill you right now. We already got the bit done. I don't care about the bit. I was trying to just explain to you what the fucking movie he was in with Hugh Jackman and fucking who played Rhodey first. Don Cheadle. Not Don Cheadle. First. Uh, Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard. He's in it with him. It's a good fucking movie. It's fucking like, it's freaky, but mm-hmm. like Hugh Jackman does a fantastic He's job. He's a good movie. actor. He is. He it, does so good in it. It's weird to see him in stuff 
since like he's so iconically Wolverine to me and then I see him I saw him in, I didn't watch this movie but I saw trailers for that movie Transcendence I think is what it was called where he like the world was flooding so he decided oh you mean real world no he, the world was flooded and he was like oh I gotta talk to my wife who's either dead or she's my girlfriend or she doesn't exist by going into this machine and then I was watching it and I was like wow this is really just playing as super future Wolverine without claws it's weird I mean I'm okay with seeing him in other things obviously because yeah I like seeing him in other things I don't like seeing him in other things that are like last showman I prefer can, to see him in last showman I would, greatest I just, showman greatest showman yeah whatever the fuck it's called I just it's weird just to see him because I think he's more I think he's a better serious actor mm-hmm. personally I mean there's obviously every movie every movie has a serious part in it no matter what it is you know I just think it's weird just seeing him in I don't know I, I just I don't know it just fucking feels weird for me I'm not, I'm not trying to typecast him as like the serious actor but I just think I personally believe mm-hmm. he performs better in a role like that's more well the man loves a musical yeah I mean he can do whatever the fuck he want and I personally prefer seeing him in roles that are super different from Wolverine because whenever he's playing like a very like a I gotta figure this out like in Real Steel I love Real Steel he's just playing Wolverine with a robot so. I don't think so at all he's a bit more arrogant but there's Wolverineiness to him I don't, see I don't I don't think that I think, I think it's just his American voice when he does his American accent I'm like mm, you sound like I don't like think Wolverine. he sounds well I mean yeah because he, sound, he sounds like American that's all it is even though I mean, Wolverine's like Chris from Evans, Canada. He is? Wolverine's Canadian. Wolverine's also 5'3". Yeah. That's the worst place to have the Wolverine come from. Why? Because Canadians are so fucking nice and peaceful. And you have this fucking absolute beast of a person who just eats people, basically. Does Not really. He eat people? He people, but like chops them the fuck up. And he's a vicious. He's from Canada. Yeah. That's just like... He's worked with Alpha Flight. The Canadian superhero team, Alpha Flight, that clearly everyone knows. Everybody out there, let's hear me. Cl- I want to hear you clap one time if you heard Alpha Flight, and then no more times. Just one quick clap. That's, that's yeah. That's what one clap means. I know, but a lot of people want to do like a big applause. I desperately am in love with the idea. Your phone? What? It, sorry, it's my whole leg vibrate. Something vibrated. I'm in love with the idea of a, an enormous audience, like a football stadium, going out, like you sing, I don't know, like the national anthem, and you go like, the home of the brave, and they say, clap one time, and the whole stadium, just boom, one big clap from everyone, and then you're done, and then you leave. You should like, go somewhere and have, and perform, um, I think it's cha-cha slide. <laughs> I was not expecting the cha-cha slide. Well, because there's always like, one hop this time, that everyone goes, boom, at mm-hmm. once. Then slide, then clap. I think there's a clap part, and it's just one clap, and it's just. Well, I don't want it to be part of. The, I want it to be the the like applause that you get at the end. I would hate. I would feel like afraid. I'm like, what the fuck's happening right now? I imagine you go on stage uh-huh. and you do you fucking perform your ass off with something, yeah. right? All of you hear, you'd be like, <laughs> I'd love it if I told. Well, you gotta tell everyone because if you don't, everyone's gonna be like, blah, 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 blah. but if you're at the end, you're like, one clap, one time, and they go boom. And I'm like, fuck well, yes. yeah, because you orchestrated that. Yeah. But imagine you didn't, and everyone just claps once. That'd feel weird. You can't tell me that would not feel I, it weird. It would feel weird, but I would also be into it. Admittedly, I think I would be like, I wouldn't. Whoa. I'd feel very uncomfortable. It's just because it's, it's the if, concept of everybody was so coordinated, and not one person fucked it up. It is a little It'd be cultish. funny if you hear, and in the distance, you just hear, just <laughs> one <laughs> small. Who was that? Jerry! Who the fuck we was that? We went over this! Who did it? Why did we invite Iron Michael? He always claps twice with his iron. <laughs> when a boy doesn't know what to do. Is that the end of your statement? Yeah. It felt like you were about to start singing. <laughs> that face you made. It looked like you were about to go like, who? And then start singing like a ballad about how much I bother you. I'm not that creative. It's like freestyle that. Earlier today, I sang a version of uh, Come a Little Bit Closer that was completely about my bank account and how I have no idea how much money I have in it. You don't know the login to your bank account? No. Mom does. How about you just ask her? Yeah, it's fine. How are you like a person, like a living human being that exists in this world? I don't know. I don't. I also don't like spending money. I don't. But you should at least know. That's not just a thing. <laughs> Like one day you're gonna need to know that. Yeah, one day. Like very soon, one day. Mm-hmm. Like in four months, you're gonna need to know this stuff. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Can you be like, oh, yeah, I just, yeah, I have some. I have some. Why don't you know that? I don't know. Like Do you know how much money you have in your bank account? Yeah, I can tell you my exact amount, exact amount right now. Off the top of your head? Yeah, because I looked at it earlier. Oh, well, that's cheating. But I even know how much was going to go into my bank account before that, how much I had before my paycheck today. Mm-hmm. I'm almost there. <laughs> almost there for what? <laughs> like, I spend money occasionally. You have to buy food or whatever. Comic books. Yep. I bought very expensive things yesterday. I bought camera equipment yesterday for new films. And you never want to know, like, hmm, I wonder how much of a dent that makes. No. I I just don't get, okay, my thing is that if you don't like spending money, why not know how much money you have? I no. like to be told you have enough money to purchase this. You will not have a negative impact from it. You will still have enough money, and then I purchase it, and then nothing happens outside of that. Yeah, I mean, that's fine, but why... Why is your mom your accountant? <laughs> she's not my accountant. We have an accountant. But she she's telling you that, yeah, you can do this. Mm-hmm. Why not just look and like, oh, yeah, I can do that? Because I don't want to know the amount. That just doesn't make sense to me. Why don't you want to know? I operate from the stance of being oblivious on it because then I have my fear of spending what money is there because in my mind, it could be zero dollars or it could be $10,000. So are you afraid that you'll just spend it and can't stop spending it because you have all this money there. He's like, oh, I have $21,000 right now, just for example. And he's like, I can buy this. I can buy that too. I can buy this. Is that what you're afraid of? I just don't like spending money. And well, yeah, when I yeah. spend the money, if I know how much money I have, I'm, I don't want to, I just don't want to know because I don't want to have to spend that money to buy so much shit. Like I'll get what's necessary and about, just, I want to know that I have enough. <laughs> how about I, I pitch you this idea. Okay. How about you know how much money you have mm-hmm. and you still just spend the money what you do already? Because I don't think knowing how much money you have is going to change how much money you spend. Probably not. What is all the problem here then? <laughs> I don't care enough. Okay, I'm pretty sure the only person who's not a millionaire is like, yeah, I don't care how much money I have. I care or that like I Gandhi. have. Gandhi. Gandhi didn't care. Isn't it gross that there's an STD called the clap? Do you know what that is? Mm-hmm. What a gross one. Like well, I feel all like of them are pretty I know I think gonorrhea might be a little worse. Gonorrhea though, you don't really have an image. When you hear the clap, you get an image. You know what a yeast infection looks like? No, I don't get a, an image. Do you want an image? No, I don't want an image. I had this one forced upon me. I don't want to see what I a yeast I told you that story? In- no. When I went to the new school senior year, right? Mm-hmm. It was a public school. And this is this is how I learned to turn my airdrop onto a private. I was sitting in the lunch no, I was sitting in math class. Mm-hmm. It's on my phone because I was done with what I had to do. And also I get this airdrop, right? And it's a black screen. It's like, do you want to accept? I'm like, yeah, fuck it, right? And it's this girl getting absolutely railed, right? But all like this white, creamy shit is coming out of her. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know what it was. So I was like, I guess that's hot. I'm assuming it's like, because you know how girls can like cream or whatever and guys like, I was like, I don't know what that is. I'm like, yeah, she's getting fucked. I don't know what that is yet. Right. I guess that's hot. Yeah. I'm not like, this is weird. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, this is like somewhat cool. You know, I'm like, I guess whatever. Then like a couple of weeks later, I'm like, dude, look at this fuck. I show my friend Jamie, who's a nursing on major. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm like, look at this fucking video I got. I'm like, look how weird it is. He's like, holy shit. I'm like, what? It's like, that girl got mad yeast infection, man. I was like, that's what that looks like. Dude, it's gross. It's like rabies of the vagina. No, because rabies is like foamy. This is oh, like, okay. like yogurt. Oh, yeah. Like, dude, it's bad. I don't like. I w- I want to preface this right now. I didn't beat off to this. Did that make sense? I just I had to like, because I said I said that was like kind of hot. I didn't go home that night and use that as like material. You know, that just needs to make. I need to clear my clear dude. my. Dude, <laughs> what? I am just constantly always thinking about. How you're like, oh, I'm going to be reporting one day. Eh. And there's just shit that you're saying that I'm like, you're like, we're well, going to I need to, I need to clear the you air. You need to clear one. the air because this now, when you report on race cars, a race car man will come past you and be like, that guy doesn't jerk off to yeast infections. And he'll give you a thumbs up. He'll need, I need them to know that. He'll raise his visor, he'll give you a wink. And then he will crash horribly, and you'll be walking away like he knew. I don't hope that. And then there's a fire behind you, and you're like, "Oh, that's not very funny." You're walking away, and then aliens come. I watched a guy almost die live because of that exact thing. Like no bullshit. I know you've told me, so it's not funny. (laughs) (laughs) Canceled. Yeah, canceled for talking about car accidents. The fire part. Well, that was just like this is a bit that would be on Family Guy. 
I that's Family Guy. They have 20 years of notoriety. Why can't I do it? I'm 20. 22 years. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you can't change. You said 20. <laughs> Why would you say like a fucking four-year-old? Like... <laughs> You just the way he says like ah you can't do that ah, like, <laughs> have you met me <laughs> no I never heard you do that before I just had to preface people that I didn't do that preface no that's not the right word mm 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 you'll figure it out we'll get there yeah say the right word now three two one here comes the word chlamydia <laughs> which you have jerked off to yes I have mm-hmm. that's where a uh, vagina turns into cloister from Pokemon and gets a sharp a uh, javelin-esque spear and hard outer walls and a face. Mm-hmm. My favorite thing in like children video games is when like they sneak like an adult joke into it. Mm-hmm. I think it's like I think it's like one of the Diamond Pearl games. I'm not sure. The Pokemon Diamond and Pearl games. Yes, the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl game. Pokemon. Why did I say it that way? How'd you say it? I said Pokemon, like you. I, that's just not how I say it. But since you said it, it came out the is way. That, you do said. I say it wrong? It's Pokemon. Pokemon. You said Pokemon. Is like Pokemon Poka. wrong? Pokemon. Pokem. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I've said my whole life. It's Pokemon. It's not Pokemon. No. Because there's, no, there's no A. Yeah, but... Th- it's an E. I'm Detective Pikachu. <laughs> You're peeking at a Jew is what I'm basically... <laughs> Did I say Pikachu wrong? You said Pikachu. You just put a lot of emphasis on the chew. Look, apparently like I also say FBI wrong. How? I don't know. Say my mom... FBI. One more time. FBI. Say it slow. FBI. Yeah, you say it normally. FBI. FBI. I think you just put. I think you just you're combining the. You're just FBI. <laughs> it was fucking like. It's like you just die at the end. Like FBI. <laughs> yeah, I turn off. I, 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 um, there's someone slowly lowering the volume. I mean, okay, I see where she's coming from, but I don't think it's that weird. Okay. I was like camera, camera, or Cameron, Cameron. See, I don't think it's like you don't turn South African. It like sounds more British. like I'm um, the Beatles. Yeah, yeah, that's better. My dad. <laughs> I was um. I was watching something, right? Mm-hmm. And we were talking about a... Uh, no, we are watching a baseball game, and my friends came over, and my friend Jamie, his sister goes to NC State. I, I don't, you don't have to censor that. It's not a big deal. Okay. Because she goes there for veterinarian, right? And she wants to be, like, a big-time vet. So she's going to South Africa on this, like, trip to, like, operate on wild animals kind of stuff, right? And study That's them cool. and that kind of stuff, right? And we are talking about South Africa. And I, I, said th- I said something about, like, I don't know. But somehow, the, like, the topic came up of, like, how South Africa is, like, it's like its own thing from rest of Africa, you know? It's like its own kind of separate entity. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, it was a British colony at one point, like South Africa. So it kind of has a lot of like that culture with it, I guess. And there's a lot more white people mm-hmm. than the rest of it. And my dad was like, how do you know that's true, Joaquin? I'm like, because like, it's literally just like their flag. It's the British flag is on it, right? And he went, okay, what about the country Zimbabwe? I'm like... Zimbabwe is a city. I'm pretty sure. No, I think it might have been. I, don't, I think I said. I think it was vice versa. And he said the city is Zimbabwe. Yeah, he said. What about, what about Zimbabwe? The city, right? Is that mainly? Yeah, I was like, that's white. Not I'm a like, city. that's a country, Dad. <laughs> My dad, he likes to like. There's a lot of times where he busts balls pretty good. I right? like the confidence he came out though with. <laughs> exactly, that. he will like say some shit. I'm like, dude, you're just wrong, <laughs> and it's so much funnier that you're wrong and you don't know it. Cause then I have one on him. I'm like, oh mm-hmm. fuck yeah! I just have like, it's like the perfect. Yeah, that must feel great. It's the perfect counter, mm-hmm. you know, just to be able to just swing back immediately. Yeah. With like, well, that's you wrong. are wrong. Yeah, because usually my dad's he's like, you give him an inch, he'll, he'll take, a mile. take a mile out of it. You know, so whenever I get that, I get one of those. Mm-hmm. It just feels like, fuck yeah, you know, like yeah, yeah, I got that. I have to say, and this is this is of no fault of your own, but since. The great applicable incident of the second episode of the podcast, where you didn't know what the word applicable meant. I have been on edge, not on edge, that's not the right word, but when people are like talking to me about something else, like our friend Justin was talking to me about uh, the new Doctor Strange, he was like, oh, this is a reference to community. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? And I was like, May- maybe there's a chance, but I doubt it. He's like, Dude, I'm messing with you. I was like, oh my God. R- like right now, I'm just in a headspace where if you tell me that you think this. Oh, so I, f- I fucked with you. I fucked, fucked you with up. Me because you didn't know the word applicable. You know something crazy? What? I think you know what I'm about to say. I can't imagine you're about to say I knew the word applicable because you absolutely <laughs> didn't and have gotten upset <laughs> about it since. That's why I'm your number one actor, man. <laughs> you're fucking, you are absolutely <laughs> lying. Swear on Swam Remy. 
I swear on Swam Whammy. <laughs> swear on Sam Raimi. I swear on Samathan Raimi. Say his re- regular human What's name. What's his first name? First, is it Samuel or Sam? I I'll say his first Sam. name. I swear on Sam Raimi. You swear on Sam Raimi that you knew the word applicable. What was happening that day then? I thought it was funny. Now, here's the thing, Joaquin. I don't believe you. <laughs> it was such an event that when it occurred, there's no feasible way that you, in that instant, were acting. Kate, I've lied about worse stuff in my life. Mm-hmm. Where I got out scots free. That was like a walk in the park for me. Because all you gotta do is get angry and really believe it. And then people are gonna think, oh yeah, he really does understand. I'm just saying, I believe you less now than then. Okay. Because you also didn't know utmost the other day. That was on purpose. I thought that was funny. You don't understand. I <laughs> One of my things I do is I have I give people the perception that I'm stupid as fuck. Mm-hmm. And it's something I was like, I guess, do, started doing by accident when I was younger as like a defense mechanism. Just because like, if I got something wrong on a quiz that I just generally got wrong, I would just make people think I'm dumb. Just so they'd be like, oh yeah, she's just because he's dumb. I don't know why. Because I didn't want to get embarrassed. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know what it is. It was just something I started doing when I was younger. So then I just kind of started running with it. And I was like, oh, this is something that I kind of have now that I can use to be kind of like, I think it's funny now. Because then when I back it up, you kind of just realize that like, I'm just running with it. All I'm saying, dude, is I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to tell you. I'll be honest. There's nothing you could tell me that would I make know. me believe you. I'm just saying, dude. Because then also you didn't understand what the top 1% was. Neither did you. I did, and then you confused me. I did not, because I'm still going to step by that. The top 1% is not a common thing. Literally look on anything else but that dick. Your mom said the way they do that's stupid. It is stupid the way that it's done, based off of the definition within the greater world, but I did know what it meant. I can ask anybody right now, and they'll say the top 1% is an exclusive club. I call my mom right now and say, what's a one percenter? And she'll tell that's me that. different than if a word is some is in the top one percent. Think about it this way: if a game is in the top one percent of sales, that means that it has sold the most amount of copies in that quarter or whatever. Okay. So that's the most of that amount has been garnered. So the most that these words are used is in that one percent. That just doesn't make sense, though. I understand why it doesn't make sense, and it, it doesn't from the perspective of viewing the world as the rich are the 1%. Like, that's the only 1%. That makes sense. That totally makes sense. And that opinion is probably valid. And by probably, I mean it is. Yeah, I'm gonna say like, I don't okay, know why I said probably. I apologize. I apologize that I said apologize. The use of 1% is completely different in every other circumstance than in rich people terms. But it's not even just rich people terms. It's like someone who is at a higher level or anything is at a higher level than other things. Like Formula One drivers. They're in the top 1% of race car drivers. Because they're the best drivers. Yeah, and there's such a little amount of them. There's only 20 of them mm-hmm. ever. Or the same with like NBA players who are like the superstars. They're the top 1% of all basketball players because they're only a certain level that can I don't format. understand what point you're trying to argue right now. I'm just saying that like if it's a, sm- they're in a smaller group. So that's why there is that they're the 1% because there's a smaller amount of them. Mm-hmm. Well, the, and given the word thing might have been different because we couldn't, we could not get even out of the top 10%. Yeah. But there is millions of words, if not there billions. Are. Even just in the English language. Even and I, I assume that that was well. No, it would be weird if that was counting other languages. Yeah, it was just English dictionary. Yeah, yeah. Because I was like, oh, if it's counting like, it's not like it's not like Merriam-Webster did work this. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like let's count every version. They don't of have everything. like a SAP channel. For yeah, fucking <laughs> Merriam-Webster. <laughs> and now for Espanol. <laughs> yeah, they don't have that. You know, I mean, they probably do. They definitely do, but they yeah. aren't factoring it into that. Yeah, yeah. That'd be weird. That'd if be they really did. weird. Because then it's just everything's in the one percent. Yeah. Into their standards, you know, it would just be. Well, then I feel like one percent gets really inflated. Mm-hmm. But then it, I feel then I feel like it is then because still with the English dictionary, there's so many words that no matter what, to be out of that. Just a five percent, you know. Mm-hmm. Like I looked up the most random word. Yeah, it looked was up in, it was in like the three percent yeah. still, which is like that. Just there shouldn't even be that then at this point because there's so many fucking words. Yeah, I do. I think that 
especially gobbledygook. Gobbledygook should have been in like I have a good one to look up now. Thirty percent. You got a good word? Because mm-hmm. like the biggest thing is, I think. Did you just forget it? That's the face of a man who has just forgotten the word that he was going to look up. You dropped What's your the, mic- thing, the thing on a on an a aglet. Shoot. Aglet. There we go. I guarantee you, aglet might be more popular only because of that episode of Phineas and Ferb. There's an app for it. There's an aglet so like app sh- for like shoes. What? So like they use it's just the name of like the website for like you can buy shoes and stuff. Oh, yeah. aglet is a okay. Yeah, I'm not focusing on that right now. Top eight percent. That's pretty low. But that's just so weird to me. How like it should be different. That's why I just don't I get don't it. know how to get how what I'm trying to think of a way that we could get out of that top. Do you, dude? This is a term. This is not a word. But do you think jazz cigarette? Where do you think I that will not be in the top on, that'd ten? That'd be on Urban Dictionary. I feel like. I uh, yeah, I guess it'd be on Urban Dictionary. Okay. A G L E T. Aglet, don't forget it. It's not even on like a dictionary website. Really? Yeah. Probably because it's a it's not a word. It's a term. It's a term. Yeah. It's on, oh, okay, it's on Urban Dictionary. Let's see if they have like a. I I doubt that they, they, they have, have a percent thing since that's such a wide thing. Electric oh. jazz cigarette. Mm-hmm. Philly phrase, Philadelphia. I don't know if you I, I, I gathered. For a disposable marijuana vape mm-hmm. This is the sentence they use as an example You ready? Yes Yo cat <laughs> Can I get a drag of yo electric jazz cigarette? <laughs> That's great <laughs> Any sentence that starts with yo cat I'm in <laughs> What about yo gab? Bagaba No That was a show that I saw I think I was Like we were probably I fucked with yo gab bagaba. I think Yeah we're definitely in the age range but It when was for the later years though When I saw that I was like this is a hard no. This is really? a hard pass. I loved Yo Gabba Gabba. That was my shit, dude. The only... Also like music. That was a lot of music. The only relation I have to Yo Gabba Gabba is that one episode of Victorious where they all dress up as different fruits and vegetables and hamburgers, and then they go to a... See, that's weird. What is? The way you say hamburgers. Hamburgers. We'll get there. They go to a children's birthday party, and they become the Woggles, and then they sing songs about spaghetti. Keep going. Sorry, I just want I want to. And then later, like they disband the group, but Cat still wants to do it, so she gets like all the C-list characters on the show mm-hmm. to be together to be the Woggles again, and then they get the shit kicked out of them by a bunch of kids. And there's I don't remember a lot of Victorious besides just like the big I moments. I watched it in high. I rewatched it in high school. Yeah, I remember. I remember. And I've watched an eight-hour video on it. Yeah, that I do know as well. Okay, here's my question. Mm-hmm. How do you say that guy's last name? Gerard Burger. No, this, this is the last part. Burger. Okay. Is it Burger? It's Burger. Okay. It's Gerhard, though. Oh. I'm just saying. <laughs> Great. So, so, yeah. That's actually unrelated, but to this. Mm-hmm. That, he was related in how I got into Formula One. Really? Mm-hmm. I was scrolling through Instagram. It was like one of the first things I've ever seen of it. I think it was the first. Mm-hmm. I was, you know, like Instagram has the Explore page? Yeah. I was scrolling through that, and it was in, um an old clip. I like I've I had racing, I had car stuff on there, right? Mm-hmm. It was first like Formula One thing I saw. I, lo- I clicked it because it looked old and kind of cool, right? And it was this overtake by another like driver named Nigel Mansell, right? That's and a crazy name. Yeah, he's um British. He's like he was the British guy, mm-hmm. like he was their dude, and he um had this like crazy fat high like high speed overtake around the outside of him. And when I first saw it, I was like, I've never seen something move like that before, mm-hmm. you know? And it just like kind of started like a rabbit hole, I mm-hmm. guess. You know what I mean? And he just followed it down. Just, I just fucking dived down it. And then, and then one day you were at the track and he raised his visor to you and winked and gave you the thumbs up. And, if, and you let it. If he, I he, was alive in the 90s, then yeah, I think that would happen. And he said to you, you don't jerk off to gonorrhea videos. Wheat infection. Yeast infection. Infe- there we go. Why do I always want to call it a wheat infection? <laughs> I mean, they're, they're close. It's. I think it's because wheat makes bread. Not and then fuck. I mean yeast. yeast. Yeah. But yeast makes dough. Yeah, which and makes dough, bread. It was used all which comes from wheat. Mm-hmm. Is like a version of dough. Yeah, I've always wanted to call it a wheat infection, which is always I don't know why. It's just like my brain has that synapse that's been fucked up into thinking that whenever I want to say yeast infection, it's like oh, it's a wheat infection. Clearly, inadvertently, you remind me of something from school. Inadvertently, sorry, you remind me of something from school, and I almost fucking threw up because there was <laughs> school a thing now. I, like your there was college, a thing I had to use for college called synapse. It was like some fucking like form thing. Like that's how I got my work from. Mm-hmm. And you just said it, and I just went like, oh fuck! Just all the thoughts of it just came back. A to synapse me. fire about synapse in your mind. Yeah, hey, you're in. You just uh, you finished. Yeah, yeah, you finished your this year. This year, second year, second year of college. You want to get like a little sticker. I also, on I the realized diploma. I don't want to write for like a um big time company. Like I don't want to work for ESPN. Mm-hmm. Or like Fox Sports, it's Have just too corporate. Ever, sorry, I want to work for like something that's just more like I don't know. There's there's just one company. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to call the company. 
I think we talked about that last time. I don't know. I don't know what to call them. They're called WTF One. You've talked about this, yeah. Before. And they're just they're fun. They're like a fun organization to look like to work for and write. And I want I want to be part of that. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be like a cog in a big corporate wheel. Right. I mean, they're still a company no matter what. And there's going to be higher ups, but like working for ESPN, you know, mm-hmm. that's like the big time. That's very you know I mean? different. Like, if, okay, say an opportunity come up. I'd be stupid not to take it. Yeah. Well, what the no. fuck sports if you're hiring? We got a little guy right here who's ready for you. It's not, even, it's, not, it's not even what it stands for. And everyone thought that and like, no, we just like, we asked what the play on words for, but they never really said what the reason was. Mm-hmm. Like every time they do, they bleep it out. I guess leave us like as, 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 as mystery. I thought so too because they were, interviewing, they were interviewing a driver. I'm like, what does WTF1 mean? And they said and they bleeped it. He's like, I thought it meant what the fuck. Oh, they, they didn't blur, blur that? Yeah, they didn't blur that out. Oh, dang. Yeah. Anyway, have you seen hit Adam Sandler film Blended, starring Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore? No, No. it came out 2016, I think. Bella Thorne is his daughter in this film. Ooh, I think I know of it. And her name in the film is Espen. This is real. And then Drew Barrymore's like, why the fuck did you name her Espen? And he goes, Espen. ESPN. And then she's like, let's watch Terry Crews get kicked by that rhinoceros. I don't like... Have you seen the new uh, Adam Sandler movie that's coming out? Where he's like the basketball... um, like scout and he becomes head coach and he goes find this guy in Spain. No. Well, they have like a fuck ton of NBA players in the movie, right? He's just playing the guy from uh, Uncut Gems. He's okay. Playing him. Good. That's a great role. Yeah, but it's not the same role though. It's a complete different character. I'm just like, yeah, it'd be pretty crazy if it was the same guy since that guy fucking dies at the end of that yeah. movie. Yeah. Not even that. It's just like the like the care like the attitude and all that. It's just the same dude. I mean, Adam Sandler's a great actor. He's been. He's kind of garnered a poor reputation based off of some of the films he's made, but he's even his early stuff that was actor, like, even like, I guess jovial humor, were still good films. Like, um, Daddy, what is the one where he's the Big Daddy? Big Daddy, that's a fantastic movie. I remember I liked that when Happy I was Happy Gilmore, fantastic movie. I'm a, I'm a fan of Billy Madison. I like that one. Billy Madison's pretty good, yeah. I don't have a lot of memory of it, but I remember liking Billy Madison. But he's like, he's got like Punch Drunk Love and stuff like it's that. It's just because Grown Ups blew the fuck up and grown ups was randomly big yeah i mean i get it the first one had like it was it's in, it's a fun movie to watch mm-hmm. but because it became so big he just got he got typecasted for that you know mm-hmm. like with chris evans he's been a lot of stuff before captain america but he's typecast as captain america not really he just played captain america a lot yeah that's but different he, than typecasting i mean yeah, he wasn't in other things but I mean, he was in you knives see him, out I saw about to say yeah, he was in Knives Out, which was different, and it was in that one where um he was more typecast when earlier in his career when he played characters like Johnny Storm or the character from Not Another Teen Movie or even Lucas Lee and Scott Pilgrim. That was different though than like how's nah, that that's different? That's what typecasting from, is. No, I mean I meant from no, I meant the character that I was meant to say. Oh, was different than like Johnny Storm, but it's kind of the same. Arrogant. It's falling into the the yeah. It's in the Venn diagram. You seem to be having. The I was just thinking like, what if someone came up time? to him? What? Huh? Like, what if someone went up to Vin Diesel and called him Ven? <laughs> Do you think but he'd be like tuck, like taking a, a struck? I don't. I think he. I think he wouldn't. If you say it the first time, he probably like. I don't think I heard them right. But, but if you're, you're like hanging it. out with him and you're like, "Hey, Ven," the I don't know. It depends on how you're saying it. Because if you're going, if you say very like unknowns, like "Hey, Ven," because for him, it's like. It makes sense why it'd be weird because it's just Vin, you know. Yeah, it's Vin. But like my situation, it's like I get why people don't say my name right. Yeah. Because it just it looks the way, the way it's spelt looks different than it sounded, and also people can just fuck it up. Like there's this lady I work with. I worked with her for like four months now. Mm-hmm. She doesn't say my name the right way. How did she say your name? <sighs> I don't even know because I, I tune it out now because I just, <laughs> I just made it sound normal for me. Mm-hmm. I think she just says Hakeem. A oh, Hakeem? Yeah, some That's shit like what that. Papa used to call you. A lot of people did. And it's just so normal for me, you know? I don't know how you get to Hakeem, though. Like, I've never heard the J at the start of a name make a hard H. I think because it sounds like Joaquin is the keen part. Mm-hmm. And they just get, they call members, so they go Hakeem. That has to be the only, like, reason, you it's know? It's just a weird choice. I mean, Hakeem's a cool name. It's a really cool name. It sounds like if a child was born in an arena and they're like, we need to name him after a sport. Hockey. Hakeem. <laughs> And then they threw him into the winning goal, and then famous and across the glass. Yeah, they went <laughs> he, uh, across the ice. Yeah, ice. <laughs> He's vertical <laughs> on the glass <laughs> around the ring. They just spin the baby around. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Yeah, that baby's so fast. <laughs> He's got a helmet. It's like Turbo mm-hmm. from um, the, the snail. snail. <laughs> that movie's crazy. It's so stupid. I've never seen it. I've watched it, and it's so dumb. 
It looks the, fun. The beginning of the movie I thought was very fun. And this right when they bring it into like real like racing, I'm just like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> this snail can't be like car. What? Yeah, I was thinking like just like the thought of it, you know? That's what's fun about it. I didn't say I wouldn't enjoy it. There were some moments where I was like, I, I it's chuckled. It's like the Ratatouille, Ratatouille effect. I can't say okay, that. But Ratatouille is like. Ratatouille is a great film. It's actually good. I have to think really hard now when I think about Ratatouille because I immediately think of Rakakuni from Everything Everywhere from All One at Once. movie. That's weird. It's crazy. Probably just recency. It's recency and also Rakakuni is infinitely funnier. Well, yeah, because Ratatouille is just a name. Ratatouille is just a name. Rakakuni. But also, there's What's a joke a behind Rak- Rakakuni and there's the visual of Rakakuni, which is a Benihana chef with a large Benihana hat with a raccoon under the hat squeezed, squeezed in tight. But there's not enough room for the tail, so the raccoon tail still sticks out of the hat. I saw um, a TikTok sketch where someone was like, 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 you and that rat did a good job on this. And the guy, and like, guy was playing. Mm-hmm. He's like, what do you mean? And they, I think they kind of like keep trying to beat around the bush. And the mm-hmm. end's like, yeah, we see the fucking thing in your goddamn hat, dude. It's a very thin yeah. paper hat. <laughs> yeah. That's such a good movie, man. I love Ratatouille. They should make a sequel called Ratatouille at Sea, which is where he becomes a sea captain's little mouse guy. Yes. Remy's like, I'm done in the kitchen. Time to start sailing the seven seas. I'm- and then they fight the Kraken. Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Very, it's be random. Okay. If you can go back to any time period mm-hmm. and do a thing, what would it be? I was actually talking about this with Isaac yesterday. If I had one time travel, like I could go back once, I would go back to my 10th grade year when I was making my first film, which has been since deleted from the annals of time. Yeah. And I knew you were going to fucking do that. And I would tell myself, don't make this stupid, pretentious Dumb. Okay. Okay. Look. Outside from that, and I would say make a Charlie Chaplin esque film. Outside of that, okay. I like guess an actual like, is, is have you ever thought about that? Like an actual time like where period? I would want to go. Like what would you want to do? Not really. Really. Okay. I have mine easy. What's yours? <laughs> mm. Don't laugh at me, but this is like my genuinely what I want to do. You want to be Matt Damon in The Great Wall? Not at all. <laughs> I'd want to go back to like nineteen twenties, thirties. That was there. this is what first popped into my head. Yeah, and I want to. Genuinely, be like a baseball player, like oh. a professional, mm-hmm. like the Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig era. I don't know what it is, but that just era of baseball, something about it just seems like, like I don't, I don't know. It just feels like that's like I have my answer. <laughs> I, <laughs> I want to go back to the World War Two times, and not get, when during it doesn't matter. I want to not get drafted because I have asthma and other shit. And then become the only male player in a league of their own. <laughs> it's crazy that they think you wouldn't get drafted because of asthma. The point of my bit <laughs> I, was I'm I want... I'm joking, I'm joking. I don't want to be Tom Hanks. I want to be the one boy that they let play on the team. I'll be left field. <laughs> the right field. That's where you... That's I'll where be they right put field. You. you be the bullpen catcher. I'll be that. Or the mascot. I'd do a great mm, mascot. Be good. Be like what? A, like Big Peach? No, I'd bring, uh, I'd dress up as Homer Simpson from the episode of The Simpsons where he is a mascot for the local baseball team, the Isotopes, but his mascot is himself. <laughs> so I would be me being Homer Simpson, being, being the mascot version of Homer Simpson. Like, what the fuck is that big yellow thing? Yeah, no one would know. And then Matt Groening would be born. He's like, <gasps> Inspiration. Yeah. I one am years the one old. who created the <laughs> one years old. You think he was born in World War II? I don't know how old he is. I mean, he's not a thousand. World War II happened back in the 1700s, yes? Hitler was all up in the new wave system of... New wave ska? He was, that's still not, I think it's third wave ska. I'm just saying that Hitler was all about Socrates and his philosophical things. And he was like, now I know how to falafel? take off his... You ever falafel? I don't know. I think so. I only know falafel from a, um, the Taekwondo, that karate show. Kicking it. Kicking it. That's yeah, they I don't know. had that. I, I, had that. Had, I don't know if it yeah. was like... Only thing I know. I think I have gone to a falafel store, and while I was in New York, there was. I just came out of a um, of the Natural History Museum, and on the street there was all these uh, carts, and there was one with a kind of obscured name, but on the side was like all Middle Eastern food, like falafel and I almost heard schnitzel. But you had baklava. I have. I like uh, oh, Nana so makes a really fu- good baklava. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. But I go over to this place, and we ordered lunch. 
And I, I was like, oh, thank you so much. He was like, you must say my name. And then, <laughs> then I was like, okay. So I said, thank you, Iron Michael. <laughs> thank you for watching the podcast. <laughs>